Definitely looking super dead right now. I just got out the shower and I just washed my face. It might be leftover mascara. But I am here in the bathroom to do a another review. So I went to my Dollar Tree and I saw these babies. And these are bubble face masks. And there's the charcoal that I just picked up. And the hyaluronic acid. <laughs> I really had to look at that to read it. But I've seen these on Instagram and lucky enough they're at the Dollar Tree. So I wanted to try these for a dollar. This is the Bio Miracle Skin Therapy. And apparently you put it on your face and it just fuzzes up and looks really bubbly. Um, so one of them, the charcoal one, is supposed to well this also has the the acid stuff in it and the ingredients at the bottom i don't know if you can see that i'm just doing this vlog style i didn't want to bring up the tripod again so this is um for a clear detoxified smoother looking skin and we also have this one bright brighten clarify and moisturize skin i think i'm going to do this one just because i have this clean face and i definitely want it moisturized so i'm just going to go ahead and do the part where i rip it open and put it on my face um, instructions say to unfold the mask, place on face position, and cut on your face, of course, with mask over skin, no wrinkles or bubbles, leave on your face for 20 minutes, massage lightly the bubbles that come out of the sheet mask, remove mask and wash bubbles off with water. When your skin is dry, you may resume your normal skin care regimen. So 20 minutes instead of the usual 15, they usually say, I'm going to bust this open and we're going to put it on. I figure out this face mask. <laughs> It's so weird. It looks like one of those things when you uh, get your face done or something. So this is what it looks like. The eye holes are super massive. The mouth hole is also massive. I really don't know where this is supposed to go. So it... <laughs> my chin. What is going on with my chin? So you can see some bubbles forming around here. Um, it is definitely bubbly. Um, definitely has to do something with the hitting the air. But look, there's some foam right there. Nothing too crazy. And definitely not like the Instagram video I saw. So I'm going to take my crazy self and I'm going to go and relax. Maybe edit some videos. I was thinking of streaming, but I don't know. Because I got to work at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to go and relax for 20 minutes and we'll see... How the results feel. It's just very weird that it doesn't cover my entire face. Well hello. <laughs> well this is 20 minutes later and um there's been a lot of bubbling and now I see why. So now I guess I go ahead and take it off because I think I already did the whole the face. I did the whole rub it in the skin part. Pull the mask, place on face, smooth mask over skin, leave on your face for 20 minutes, massage lightly. Okay, now I need to massage and then remove mask and then wash bubbles off. But I guess that's good to keep the bubbles off your face. I'm just going to rip it off. I'm just going to throw that away. Can you just say glowing? Nope, okay, this is weird. It's just like rubbing thick foam and I definitely gotta wash this off because it's sticky. I still look dead and sickly, of course. Um, yeah, I don't know if you guys can see a difference, but this is just the after effect. My face still looks clean, of course. Feels really, really clean. Um, doesn't feel bumpy or anything or dry definitely doesn't feel dry um i don't know i really don't know i mean it's definitely a really thick mask the product on it is really thick sticky and kind of like you definitely gotta get it off make sure you wash off good but my skin doesn't feel dry so i guess that's a good thing there's still like a little little stickiness going on but i'm just gonna air it out and give my face a rest for tonight. Um, just seeing if you can see any of my problem spots. 
which aren't too bad. Usually my cheeks are really red. And my nose is really red right now. It's definitely uh, sensitive. But yeah. Uh, for a dollar, it's very interesting. I just don't know if the bubbles are actually special or if it's a gimmick. But my skin feels good. Um, I still got like some pimples there. So those, of course, won't go away. But they are quite red to me. And yeah. That is this $1 mask. Um, I'd recommend it just for the experience. I want to see how it uh, works with my skin um, in a couple of hours once it's been exposed more to the air. It's just to see if it's a long lasting feeling. But for a dollar, it's an interesting thing to try. I just don't like the shape on my face, but I guess it needs the extra big holes just for the bubbles to go out. It's interesting. Um, interesting to see if the charcoal mask does anything different, but it has been a wonderful Sunday. And I think they're doing kind of like a mask Monday, but I'm not someone who follows schedules really well. So I'll do these whenever I grab them because I do have a couple from the Dollar Tree because they are really stacking up in the beauty section and I love it because I love really cheap beauty products. So that was this review and demo. Try it. It's a dollar. Um, I'm just showing what it did to my skin. And I'm definitely interested in hearing how it works well with everyone else's skin because everyone's different. So you guys have a good day. Have a relaxing Sunday, Monday, or week. And I'll see you guys later.